Had ahead of y'all, Briscoe Bones. We got a uh, part one of part two video, I think, for y'all. So I started on a, uh, I, I'm going to call it a Sierra build, my, my TMC Sierra. I'm doing some work to it. Uh, we'll, we'll call it a build. It's not a full restoration or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, it's taken a lot longer than I thought. We've had some things come up. It's going to get postponed. We'll talk about that in a second. But here we go. We're going to start. I was heading down uh, in my Dodge for one of the days of working. And we were stopping. We, as in me and my dog, were stopping to get some breakfast. And I just, uh, that was just a funny thing. I just thought it was hilarious. <laughs> just his facial expression cracks me up. He was so concerned about what was in front of him. Anyway, so um, here's just a little quick pick. We got we're doing some long tube headers, three inch wide pipe. You've already seen. Well, maybe if you haven't, you can go look. But we've done a three inch um, exhaust, three inch to two and a half inch exhaust uh, from the wide pipe back. So now we're going to replace the wide pipe. This is all pace setter. And uh, yeah, like I said, we've had some delays. So uh, it's it's been it's been interesting. It's been a lot of work. Um, that was the second day. I had just finished up the rear lift and started on this. Now the big problem with this, is, um, this uh, truck was used a lot for towing boats to the ramps on the ocean, so salt water, a lot of rusted bolts. There's been some, there's been quite a few broken bolts on this project. Um, but yeah, so I've started on the front lift as of right now, as of today, uh, uh, as of filming this. Um, uh, the front lift is halfway done. I got like another hour of taking stuff off. And then I have to cut and fabricate the frame and reinstall all the new parts. So that's going to get done tomorrow, which is great because it's been hot and muggy here in Florida. And we had a cold front come through last night. And it's going to be nice and cool tomorrow. I'm excited. Um, but then, uh, yeah, this happened. And this is part of the delay I was talking about. So, um real short quick story about that we thought it was a uh, non VVT engine uh, the, the research we did on it said non VVT and, and I honestly could not tell that that was the VVT thingy um, on the front of the engine a VVT for those who don't know is variable valve timing um, it actually adjusts the cam gear which is your valve timing uh, as you drive, or as the tune permits. There's a lot of parameters around it, but it'll actually rotate the TM as you're driving. Uh, so, now we could have, we had a what's called a three bolt cam, which is a standard normal camshaft. It doesn't rotate, it's just what's been done for years. And we could have still swapped in that three bolt cam. Um, but after talking about it and discussing it, my brother, who's doing the tuning, had no problem with doing the extra tuning. Because VVT requires a lot of tuning because you have all of those parameters. The whole spectrum of that plus or minus um, timing that you can add while driving or take away while driving really makes it a little bit more difficult. So he said he was down for the extra timing. Some of the benefits are uh, you have more power throughout the entire RPM band. So like... If you do a camshaft, and these are just numbers I'm throwing out, if you do a, a three bolt cam, you may pick up 100 horsepower on the top end. But you may be only 5 horsepower at the bottom end of your RPM band. A VVT cam, in theory, you could pick up 100 horsepower across the entire band because it can pitch and adjust and do all that other stuff. Um, so, uh, the downside is they don't last as long because it does affect your lifters. Um, yeah, we went ahead and went with it, though. I mean, I'm not going to be... Uh, I, I only need the, the truck to last me through school. And then after that, if I need to rebuild the engine again, I'll be working and making a lot of money. So it won't, won't be as big of a deal as if it broke down now with school. But, uh, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, I take care of myself, so maybe 200,000 miles. I mean, this this has got 180, and everything looks fine. The, the lifters look fine. Everything looks great in that engine with 180. So... You know, another 200, that's no problem. So that, that, in theory, is 10 years. Um, but anyways, yeah, so uh, with wanting to do a VVT, and we're going with a bigger cam, we're going with a comp cam, we're going with a lot bigger cam than what we were going to go with with the 3-bolt, and that's bigger than factory. 
my brother really, really wanted to check piston and valve clearance. It's an LS3 style head, it's an LS2 style block, so it's a 6 liter, and that's a big thing. You want to make sure we weren't going to run into any issues, he knew what he was looking at, and that's a lot easier with the engine outside of the vehicle. So after a day and a half of pulling the heads, intake, all that stuff in the cab, back braking work, we pull the damn engine. So the engine's out, camshaft's on order, um, I'm going back in tomorrow to finish the lift, uh, the heads are already built, ready to go. Really, all we have to do is get the camshaft in. We're adding a, uh, a special thingy that goes on, that goes with your VBT that makes sure that if the VBT fails, the camshaft doesn't just do 180 degrees; it wipes out all the valves. So that's the only other special thing. Um, yeah, then everything's going back in. It's got to get tuned. It's so stressful though because the time frame is now completely screwed. This was supposed to be getting tuned today, and instead, it's not back together at all. So, uh, this weekend is crazy. It's my brother's birthday. We're going out Friday. We're going fishing Saturday. He's got friends in town all the way through the weekend. He's got some uh, training he's doing Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know if he's going to have time to do it. Uh, and then the following week, he's got more stuff. He's got more plans. So, it's, it's one of those things that like I'm really hoping we get it done. But there is the possibility that, um, yeah, it... Uh, might be a few more weeks. I really hope that's not the case. But we'll see what happens either way. Always got to have a uh, smile on your face. Um, I went ahead and did a little time lapse of the uh, some of the stuff I've been working on. So we're going to go ahead and get that going. Um, yeah, so just this is doing the rear lift, getting everything laid out. Uh, there's a lot of things I've never done this before so this was a learning process for me pretty much 90% of what I'm doing I've never done and, and I'm just kind of going with it and learning and my brother's helping out where possible you've seen him poking around a little bit um, uh, it skipped a lot because uh, battery died didn't realize it died this is this is the second day this is the third day now I forgot to start recording pulling all the heads and everything out pulling the Y pipes off Pulling the transmission bolts out, um, coolant, stuff like that. Now this is getting everything ready to pull the engine. We went to lunch. I didn't stop recording. And now the engine's out. Or, well, now the engine's out. So, oh, that's weird. It filmed that. It got sent out of order. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, this is part one, real short. Um, I'm going to keep doing the time-lapse thing for... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing the time lapse thing for um, for part two, finishing the lift, getting that all done, and then putting the engine back in. And part two is gonna be short, just like this one is. And then uh, we're gonna do uh, a startup video, probably some dyno videos, I'm gonna show you all the numbers. So um, yeah, if, you, if you're interested to see what happens, uh, you can check back. Uh, um, I'm gonna put the vehicle information in the description, some of the stuff we're doing. So. Uh, other than that, uh, my normal sign-off, stay safe, shoot straight, and I'll see you all next time.